going into tomorrow's session, again, just like yesterday, don't be creative. Uh, watch the names that are coming out of channels on the bottom of the ranges. There's a bunch of them. I mean, look at Airbnb for tomorrow, right? Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I'm a little tired. Um, I woke up today somehow at four o'clock in the morning, don't ask me how, and I am on my third cup of coffee. So tonight I'm going to try to get some sleep and hopefully be back a hundred percent. So uh, last night's video, um, you know, we talked about, if you watched last night's video, uh, there's certain nights that you don't have to overthink, right? Keep it very, very uh, simple for today's trading session. Um, you know, watch the stocks that are coming at the bottom of the ranges, leave the stocks that had big runs alone. Again, any type of pull in the futures, the ones that had the biggest runs are always going to be the ones uh, who are pulled up first. And again, that's the whole point of ranges. The longer the distribution, uh, the bigger the move. And I, and I said this last night in the video, um, you know, don't be creative, right? Watch beta, just watch the beta stocks. Uh, there's a lot of really good potential. We covered a you know, pretty decent amount of names last night. Uh, on the video and you know it the market played out really really well and it was just a matter of time that two stocks were about to get pulled up right one of them we talked about uh, was Netflix that's not out of the woods just yet but it's starting to get good if you guys remember yesterday it was a nice pivot above the 605 today there was a nice pivot that I caught uh, off that 614 level that stopped right at supply so you know Netflix is basically maybe about a day away right a day away but there was another stock that we talked about for weeks that was getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. It's just a matter of time, right? Just especially with this uh, market uh, condition, the market sentiment, the, the sentiment in which people are just chasing everything in sight. And it was Tesla, right? We talked about how uh, important this whole tight range is. And as soon as we're going to get about above the 50-day moving average, we covered this level in nausea. If you've been watching this video, we've been covering it literally in nausea for weeks and weeks and weeks. And we just couldn't figure out when is it going to finally, you know, when is it going to finally uh, trigger? And it finally triggered today, confirmed, got upgraded, and, you know, really, really big move. We'll talk about individual pivots in a second. But that's kind of where the market is right now. Um, stocks that had big runs, uh, they rested. They have a well-deserved rest. Amazon rested. Uh, Apple today. Uh, Apple today rested. Uh, you know, again, great, great moves for them. Uh, you had your Googles uh, resting. You had your Shopify resting. Uh, you had NVIDIA resting. And again, look at the runs they had, right? You actually, I, I, I thought the video was a little bit lower than it was. But the point is, look at the moves they had, right? So now our job is to forget about those, start looking for the ones that are coming off the bottom. And today kind of played out uh, very, very aggressively, uh, especially at the open. Um, you know, I, again, same if you recorded last night's video uh, and played it today, well, you could record last night's video again and play it for tomorrow. Again, don't get creative, right? Just really don't get creative for what this market is right now. It's it's very bullish. It's very aggressive. Uh, the options market is dictating, um, you know, speculation money flow and a lot of really big names. You see Tesla just skipping dollars right now after the close. And that's kind of where we are for tomorrow. So for, for all you guys who are doing your research, and again, new traders, don't you know, don't think for a second that your, your, your responsibility to yourself, to the growth of your development ends at the close. you got to put in the time. And we, we, we constantly talk about this on a nightly basis to continuously put in the work, the chart work. Again, you don't even need to know what you're looking for as far as the charts, but it becomes rep you know, repetitive. Your, your brain uh, needs to function very, very aggressively every single day. And that's how you start picking things up. Uh, subconsciously so that you could, you could transform it uh, into a pretty good long lasting career. So going into tomorrow's session, again, just like yesterday, don't be creative. Uh, watch the names that are coming out of channels on the bottom of the ranges. There's a bunch of them. I mean, look at Airbnb for tomorrow, right? It's right at the bottom of the range. If it starts confirming, you know, again, we saw today uh, 160s for next week, 160s, 170 calls. Again, this is a very tight range. This thing reclaims the 50-day moving average, it's going to wake up. Uh, a name like uh, Sun Power, right? You know, in, in the 
uh, in the solar space. Look how tight this range is, right? Again, the common denominator is everything off the bottom, right? Look how tight the solar power is. Look, look at FUBO, right? It's being added to one of these exchanges, right? Russell or something. I mean, look how tight. It's just sitting underneath supply that call buying as well. If it starts reclaiming the top of the channel here, it's going to explode as well. Netflix might be a day or two away, right? A day or two away of literally launching really, really big moves. Uh, names even like FSR, right? FSR is that Fisker uh, EV space. Again, is this going to be the same as a channel like a Netflix or a Tesla? You know, probably not because, again, this is more represented by a lot of uh, retail investors and retail traders, especially it's a lower price stock. But again, you kind of get the point. The stocks that are coming out of ranges, putting in highs, going through distribution, confirming again, are making its next way up. So you're getting a lot of value in a market like this. Um, you know, again, a lot of traders are going to be gone towards the end of this week. There is a Friday. Next week will be a, a, a complete ghost town. I give you my word ahead of uh, the 4th of July holiday. A lot of people are taking off, including myself. Um, so there's going to be, uh, there's not a lot of selling pressure. And again, like I said in last night's video, don't think for a second the market can't pull your card and start you know, destroying you. Again, there's no, you know, there is no blueprint for uh, sustaining, sustaining gravity, right? But for now on phase value, uh, the market continues to be uh, very, very good. The action continues to be uh, incredible, just really, really incredible, uh, especially in uh, the technology space, especially in uh, the high tech beta names. The ones that go up, they rest, right? One, two days, then they go up again, right? The ones that are coming out of the channels, they're coming out of channels for two, three day runs. I mean, look at Roku. Roku has not stopped, right? It has absolutely non stopped. It's gotten literally five days into macro supply. I mean, this is a move that, that went from uh, 333 all the way to 424 in five sessions. Just absolute amazing. Uh, and even a name like Plug Power, right? They got a downgraded. I think it was downgraded this morning. Completely removed the downgrade. It just like tossed it to the side. And this is also one day away from blowing up. So the money, the the money flow uh, in this market continues to be uh, really good. Uh, it's built right now for retail investors, institutional money flow, uh, good organic bull market action. Again, sometimes you just don't need to be uh, creative or you know dive too much into it uh, to kind of see what's going on. Continue with the trend. Continue buying the names that are coming out of channels, confirming off the bottom. Uh, don't worry yourself. Or stop. You know, don't chase performance of stocks that already. Uh, like blew up like a Roku of the world or Amazon or Nvidia. Leave those stocks alone. They'll, they'll continue to be strong. They still to be. They still need to be bought on 60-minute dips. But they already had their day in the sun. Uh, look at the names that are coming out of channels, and that's where the value flow is. So let's talk about today uh, again. Like I said in, at, last night in the video, you don't need to be too creative, right? So uh, again, I apologize. My dyslexia kicked in. Obviously, it wasn't. 532, 536, it was 632, 636. I think everybody by now knows I'm kind of dyslexic. Never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty confident that I am. Uh, so yeah, 632, 636, big levels needs to build. Uh, they got upgraded this morning. We talked about those levels in nausea, absolutely nausea. Uh, it broke above 536. Uh, it closed at the highs of 657. Stock is trading right now, uh, 662 after the close. They were coming for... Uh, the 650 weeklies a couple of days ago, they came for the 650s, they came for the 700s. I even saw some 800 call buying uh, coming up. Uh, measured move, and again, maybe it rests tomorrow, but if there is a day two, there's a, you know, there is a probability you see this whole channel uh, get filled all the way to the 680 level. Just an absolute rock star. Um, I don't care what anybody says about the company, anybody, there, there will never be another stock uh, tradable both ways like a Tesla. It's just special, okay? There's just something about it. It's, Le it's LeBron James, it's Michael Jordan, it's Kobe Bryant. Again, everybody, everything else are just good companies, great stocks, blah, blah, blah. But this is special. And I think if you've been trading Tesla for years and years and years, um, I think you could you could agree with me on that. So just an absolute monster move on that. Uh, Netflix, I scalped uh, 514, went to the 516 and a half level. Um, 
it hits supply, the macro level will be on deck. I still like it a lot. It just needs to reclaim that macro level. Uh, Square 240 needs to build. And you can see there's a lot of things just happening right off the word go. Uh, 240 took out this channel, went to 243. This is still the highest chat close in this whole channel here. So uh, continues to be uh, pretty good here. Uh, Zoom, not a big move. Uh, Zoom 380 needs to build, not a big move at all. Only went up a couple of bucks. Here was Zoom. It took out the 80, uh, went up, you know, went up less, less than three bucks uh, before it kind of reversed course. Um, root, I still like. I still like this root. Um, you know, keep an eye on this thing. Yesterday, a buyer came in for the 1250 calls, right? 1250 calls. Uh, there were some buyers today. I think they came in for the August 15s. Uh, as far as I understand, there is uh, th over 30% short interest in this name. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts taking out, you know, starts building above this 11, 11, 20 area, especially in this environment. You know, people chase anything. Keep an eye. This thing starts building this 11, 20. This thing can wake up very, very aggressively. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Jivo hit perfectly 830, never confirmed. Uh, plug, again, I still like this thing above this 3450 area. Space, beautiful move on space. 40 needs to build on space. Here is space, right? Uh, took out the 40, traded right into supply at 41.65. I still like it. Okay, the call buyers, if you guys remember last night's video, they were coming for the 40s, 45s, and the 50s. So this thing has more room. This thing gets above uh, 41.70, 42. They could stretch this thing out into the 43 and change area. So I still like uh, space, but nice move uh, today on space nevertheless. Uh, let me see what else, what else, what else. Facebook, 340 needs to build. Here was Facebook. I still like it higher. Uh, it took out the 340, uh, went to 343 and changed. This is the highest close in the whole formation. Uh, still looks higher to me as long as this market uh, stays afloat. Uh, Wish obviously never got the $15 level. I, I actually like this stock. There's so much call buying in this name. I'd love to see it dip into a macro uh, five-day support of this thing. I don't want to buy this thing on strength. I want to see this thing kind of come back into rising support. Uh, so Tesla, yeah, so obviously 636, not 536. Anyway, 636 just... Absolutely exploded. Stock is up about close to 30 points now. So huge move there. Uh, Peloton, 1780, 118 uh, needs to build. Here was Peloton, right? So it took out the 1780, 18 area, went to 1960. Not a huge move, but it's had a big, big two-day move uh, for Peloton there. Future was huge. Uh, FUTU, uh, 164 needs to build. Uh, here is FUTU. Uh, it took out the 164 and went to 172. I still like this thing higher. This thing looks great. Uh, really, really good. Congratulations, you guys. have caught that as well. You can see a very, very aggressive session. Uh, I mean, Tesla, right? I mean, it, this was literally in five minutes, Tesla put up a $15 bar. Just went absolutely nuts and never looked back. So flying, squares flying, Tesla's flying, uh, Netflix, $3 candle instantly. Uh, future exploding, Zoom take on the way up, 680 potential. Yeah, this is where it is. I still think, uh, and again, maybe, maybe it takes a, a day off tomorrow, but now it's in the you know it's in the channel. So 680, if the market continues to hold, and even if it has a res day, that 680 is where its next uh, measured potential is. And that's it. So um, yeah, really great action. I uh, hope everybody did well. Uh, next week, you're going to see the volume completely die out, uh, especially, again, people, uh, some of my friends already went, went on vacation this week, but next week will be an absolute ghost town uh, ahead of the long uh, 4th of July uh, holiday. So, guys, have a great night. Hope everybody did great today. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.